The universe is bound together by hidden threads, some stretching across the cosmos, others weaving silently beneath our feet. In the darkness below, mycelium forms a living network, ancient and wise, nurturing forests and carrying messages between roots. Here, in this unseen world, lies the power to nourish, to heal, to transform, and to surprise even the most skeptical minds. Almost a century ago, in China, a young scientist gazed at the mushrooms that would define his turning point. Xu Ting Chang heard stories from his elders, tales of mushrooms that could heal the mind. Amid turmoil, he sprouted a vision of mushrooms for renewal, for memory, for hope. Amid skepticism, he sprouted determination to unlock mushrooms' secrets. Could science explain tradition for mushrooms? For much of history, mushrooms were dismissed, feared, or simply ignored by many cultures. Few imagined that a fungus could hold the secret to sharpening the mind or restoring what age and illness had taken. Yet Chang dared to ask, what if this humble organism could change the way we think? The path ahead is anything but easy. Doubt and resistance challenge Chang from every side. Scientific orthodoxy, cultural skepticism, and the inertia of his own beliefs. From mountain forests to bustling cities, the journey of Lion's Mane and the man who championed it. It's a story of resilience, discovery, and the unexpected power of nature to heal the mind. Chang and mushrooms eventually bridged continents, cultures, and centuries. So what were the chasms that they faced? Like Chang, I believe mushrooms are bridges, linking tradition and innovation, survival and discovery. Xu Ting Chang was born in 1930 in Goli Village, Shangxi Province, a place shaped by hardship and resilience. His childhood unfolded amid the upheaval of war, famine, and political change. Waves of conflicts forced families including Changs, to rely on the land and on each other for survival. Mushrooms, like lion's mane, were prized in local markets, valued as both delicacy and medicine. Chang once wrote, In my home village, mushrooms were always a welcome sight, both for the table and for the medicine cabinet. After the wars, Chang's family sent him to Taiwan to seek a future shaped by knowledge and opportunity. At National Taiwan University, Chang immersed himself in botany and microbiology, absorbing both tradition and the latest science. He saw a divide between ancestral wisdom and modern research, a gap he felt called to bridge. This realization became Chang's defining purpose, to unite the healing traditions of his childhood with the rigor of scientific discovery. Graduating with top honors, Chang earned his bachelor's in 1953, then traveled to the United States for his master's at the University of Wisconsin. In Wisconsin, he plunged into Western science determined to connect East and West through fungi. After earning his doctorate in 1960, Chang looked homeward, ready to bring new knowledge back to Asia. So he began his career at the Chinese University of Hong Kong, launching a journey that would shape mushroom science worldwide. Chang's early challenges war, migration, and cultural skepticism became the roots of his mission to prove that mushrooms like lion's mane could heal, 
nourish, and inspire. Armed with knowledge and vision, Chang became ready to share his discoveries with the world. Chang's beautiful challenge. Unite ancient wisdom and modern science, not just in one country, but across the world. In 1977, Chang organized the first international training workshop on mushroom technology, sponsored by UNESCO, bringing together traditional practitioners and scientists. By inviting both groups into the same room, Chang created a space where tradition and science could meet, compare, and evolve together. He pioneered using agricultural byproducts that are commonly available in many places around the world, even economically stressed places like cotton waste and sawdust, for cultivating edible mushrooms, thus blending resourcefulness with scientific rigor. Chang then published his findings in both Chinese and international journals, validating folk techniques with evidence and opening doors for global adoption. He traveled to 72 countries, training scientists and farmers, and sharing methods that would transform mushroom cultivation on five continents. Chang's seminars and keynote addresses promoted the integration of traditional mushroom uses with modern science, inspiring a new generation of researchers. Among the many species he championed, lion's mane stood out for its long history in Chinese medicine, its promise for brain health, and its ability to grow from common, inedible scraps. So, what if byproducts could be turned into medicine. He encouraged research into lion's mane's effects on memory and cognition, citing both ancient wisdom and recent scientific findings. Quote, Chang's training changed my life and my community. Chang's vision, rooted both in tradition and innovation, helped mushrooms become a global force for nutrition, health, and sustainable agriculture. But how did Chang turn vision into scientific breakthrough? In the 1970s and 80s, Chang's laboratory became a hub for mushroom science. He demonstrated that lion's mane mycelium could rapidly colonize sterilized sawdust and agricultural byproducts, reducing the need for traditional wood logs. With optimized substrates, yields increased by up to 60% compared to traditional methods. For example, a typical substrate included 55% corn cobs, 20% cotton chaff, 20% wheat bran, 3% cornmeal, 1% gypsum, and 1% sugar, thus balancing nutrition and moisture for optimal growth. Switching from logs to sterilized bags cut the time to the first harvest from several months to just six to eight weeks. He shared these breakthroughs in hands-on workshops, training thousands of growers to adopt efficient, scalable methods. Lion's mane's high enzymatic activity allowed it to break down complex plant materials, making it suitable for sustainable low-cost cultivation. And Chang's advocacy spurred research into lion's main unique compounds, such as ericinines, which stimulate nerve growth and protect brain cells. So, how much have Chang's methods proven that honoring tradition while embracing modern science could transform a humble mushroom into a global resource so far? Lion's Mane is now celebrated for its potential to sharpen memory, enhance focus, and support mood. In laboratory studies, Lion's Mane extract doubled the length of neuron growth compared to untreated cells, a 100% increase. In Alzheimer's mouse models, Lion's Mane supplementation 
reduce the time to complete memory tasks by 50%. Mice, given lions made, made 36% more approaches to novel objects, indicating enhanced recognition memory. They also spent 44% longer exploring new objects, further supporting improved memory. In a clinical trial, humans with mild cognitive impairment who took lion's mane for 16 weeks improved their cognitive scores by about 40% compared to 7% for placebo. A single dose in young adult humans led to a 7% faster reaction time on cognitive tests within one hour. And after four weeks, participants reported 20% lower stress compared to baseline. Chang authored over 200 scientific articles, wrote or edited 21 books, organized more than 40 international conferences and workshops, and inspired countless people to grow their expertise. Meanwhile, Lion's Mane research has grown from fewer than 10 papers in 1990 to over 250 papers in 2024. Chang's methods turned agricultural byproducts into valuable food, reducing landfills and pollution risks for millions. With such benefits, what new frontiers could Lion's Mane open for brain health and beyond? Chang's breakthroughs helped make mushrooms of all kinds a vital part of modern diets, economies, and sustainable agriculture. Since the 1970s, global mushroom production has soared from under 1 million to over 40 million metric tons per year, meaning a more than 40-fold increase in mushrooms available in just five decades, in no small part fueled by Chang's vision and training across 72 countries. Mushroom farming now supports over 100,000 jobs in the United States, and smallholder farmers in India and Vietnam, for example, report annual incomes of $20,000 $50,000 per hectare, which is often double or triple that from traditional crops. Lion's mane, once rare outside Asia, is now a staple in health food stores and kitchens worldwide, with the mushroom market projected at 136 billion US dollars by 2032. Lion's mane mushroom is poised for a bright future, driven by its potential in brain health, nutrition, and sustainability. What will the next generation discover about mushrooms? I'm Benjamin Ashpool, certified forager gourmet grower, and founder of the marketing agency called Nourish Cap. My journey with mushrooms began with learning to find them from my grandparents. Now that I take Lion's Mane daily, I notice sharper focus and mental clarity, benefits that science can explain thanks to the research by Chang and others. For me, mushrooms are more than a career. They're a lifelong source of wonder, nourishment, and connection. So if you're ready to try Lion's Mane, check out my recommendations in this video's description box. Each link supports this channel at no extra cost to you. On my channel, you'll find guides, reviews, and stories for anyone curious about understanding, growing, or working with mushrooms. Subscribe for more stories about amazing mushrooms and the heroes behind them. Visit nourishcap.com for resources, updates, and to connect with the global mushroom community or to sponsor future episodes. At NourishCap, we help growers, educators, and entrepreneurs thrive in the mushroom industry. Stay curious and keep exploring the wonders under the cap.